Hi, Sarah here, and I'm going to give you a whiz through the anatomy of the renal system. I'll start by talking about the anatomy of the kidney itself, and then I'll move on to looking at the microscopic structure of the nephron. So here I've drawn a kidney. The outer layer is called the renal capsule, and beneath that we've got the cortex. Underneath the cortex, with the pyramid-like structures, is the medulla. And quite usefully, the pyramid-like structures are known as the pyramids, the renal pyramids. And the urine produced here drain into the papillas. These then drain into the minor calyces, which drain into the major calyces. And these all collect together and the fluid enters the renal pelvis. The fluid is generated by the nephron, and by fluid I mean urine. And what the nephron does is filters the blood to create urine, which ultimately drains through the pelvis into the ureter. And if we have a little look at the urological system from a more zoomed out perspective, we can see that the urine drains into the bladder and then exits via the urethra. OK, so let's zoom in on this tiny little nephron that I've drawn. There are absolutely loads of these in each kidney. And I'm just going to draw one of them because otherwise it would be a big job. So this part that I'm about to shade in red is the blood vessels. What we have entering is called the afferent arteriole, and that brings blood to the Bowman's capsule, which is the cup-like structure. And then the blood passes into the capillaries at quite high pressure, and the blood that doesn't pass through leaves via the efferent arteriole. So the pressure causes some of the fluid to leak out through this sieve-like structure, and the fluid is then known as filtrate. So as I mentioned, the cup-like structure that the filtrate passes into is known as the Bowman's capsule. And this filtrate then enters the next part of the nephron known as the proximal convoluted tubule. I'll talk in another video about all the physiological mechanisms that occur here, but for now I'm just going to whiz through the anatomy. So as the filtrate passes down, it enters something called the descending limb of loop of Henle. This big U-shape collectively is called the loop of Henle, and it's got the descending limb and the ascending limb. So the filtrate then passes back up towards the cortex and enters the distal convoluted tubule, which crosses the glomerulus, which is that capillary bed, at about a right angle. And then the filtrate carries on towards this final tube known as the collecting duct. There are a few little physiological mechanisms that occur here, but mostly the fluid passes out through the papilla, into the minor and major calyces, into the pelvis, down the ureter, into the bladder, out the urethra, and we have excretion. And that's what happens on a whole. That's the renal anatomy in an absolute nutshell. Very speedy. I hope it was useful. Please watch the physiology video, which will be my next one, and follow me on Instagram. Facebook and YouTube if you don't already. Thanks very much.